Hunters, what's going on? Worst Epic Gamer, and I'm back with a brand new Awakening video for you guys today. I know it's short notice, right? Yesterday we had our Awakening, today is an Awakening. What the hell is happening? But, thank God to Lilith, because uh, Saturday they unlocked the dojos. Thank God, so all dojos and uh, Bountiful Caverns are open, guys. Which means we can go ahead and we can Awaken our Kong today, so I'm really, really excited about Awakening Kong right now. Uh, real quick, before... I start the awakening I just want to show you guys that if your Kong looks like this obviously is because um, I'm equipping a skin on him right now the monkey emperor skin I just want to make it clear because um, a lot of you guys might be like hey this one looks different than mine uh, there's a skin on him right now so let's just go ahead guys let's jump into part number two because I've already finished part number one as you can already see so let's go to part number two and see what we gotta do Alright, so part number two, we gotta do Bountiful Caverns Title Temple. As I said last time, I feel like all heroes are doing Title Temple right now. <laughs> it, uh, it's kind of their way, I guess, to stop everybody from doing every Awakening all at once, right? Because it wouldn't be... It would not be good to have all Awakened heroes in one day. That would not be good, but let's go ahead, guys. Let's bust over right through this right now. And let's see this transformation. Now, um, the only problem is when your Awakened Hero awakens and you have a, a skin equipped on him. Hmm. You have a choice to... I think you have a choice to choose between your skin or you can stay with your Awakened look. So uh, it depends on what he's going to look like, guys. If he looks pretty cool Awakened, I'll keep him Awakened. Hmm. But then the skin... Oh, we'll, we'll take that. You know what? We'll... We'll assess that when we get there. Huh. We won't talk about that right now, but I don't know why it's going through my head. I'm thinking, wait a minute. What if... All right, without anybody dying. All right, so what if the Awakening looks really, really cool and I want to use it, but then... But then that means I can't really use his skin and it gives him a special ability. So obviously you have to use the skin. Ah, too many things. Leave now and I'll let you go. So, yeah, too many things going through my mind. Let's just get over this, guys, and let's see how it's gonna be. Here we are. Part two. I told you not to mess with me. Where have I heard that before? I feel like I've heard that from another awakening before. Hmm. I don't know who it was, but I'm pretty sure I've heard that before. Almost there. All right. Yes, yes, we are almost there. Let's do it. Come on, Batman. Finally. All right, we're finished. Batman didn't even have to use his ultimate. And Flash had enough time to go and get himself a Domino's Pizza. Way to go, Flash. Alright, boys and girls, here we go. Put your hands together for the Awakening of Kong! Alright! Uh, actually, that looks pretty dope. Whoa. <laughs> I do like this, actually. Look at this. His staff looks great. Well, not his staff. His Whatever that thing is, I guess you can call it his staff. But that looks awesome, and it's got some kind of... New wardrobe. All right, Kong. I'm liking that. It looks pretty cool. Whoa! What? Look at this card. This looks pretty awesome, actually. Uh, now he actually looks like a king. Because he is the monkey king, but the wardrobe makes him look like he's the ruler. He's got his, uh, you know, soldiers behind him, and he's the king. He's the chosen one. He's the one that protects all of the other monkeys all around. So... Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Now, let's take a look at... Well, we got ruins here, and I really don't have many good ruins to give him. I can give him that one there, and I give him physical toughness. I don't even have any other one there. All right, let's go to abilities here, guys. So, if you don't already know... Oh, uh, this is in Chinese! What the hell? This wasn't in Chinese before. <laughs> but now, I guess it's in Chinese, because it's been... Uh, let me work on it a little bit here. Oh, I'm out of gold. Alright, now I'm all out of gold. That stinks. Gold is at a premium now. Alright, so I can pretty much say the Chinese uh, words there say, um, All heroes who have the Spirit Club badge will get a physical attack bonus of 492. I can see that, because numbers are universal. Thank God for numbers. Alright, so... Now, we're going to take a look at the heroes that are that have the Spirit Club Spear, spear club badge, guys. So whoever's you know carrying around a spear, and that's what that was—a spear. Now we got it. Um, up to now, most of these heroes don't really benefit from this ability, guys. To say the least, right now, 
Uh, I've talked about this before, but they don't really benefit much from this, but I'm uh, definitely sure a lot more heroes will be added into the game as time goes on. And there's going to be one or two heroes that come along that can definitely, you know, benefit really, really good from this Spirit Club badge. Uh, Kong benefits from it, so that's one good thing. And you can definitely use Kong for Osiris, a Hall of Legend, so that's one. And all the other ones, not right now. So, it's not that great. It's a great ability, though. Don't get me wrong. I love, I love the ability. All, any hero that will, you know, give a boost to your other heroes from uh, uh, some kind of a badge is great. That means it's a really good thing. For pet, I got Stabby on him. We can take Stabby out and we can give him some kind of a blue pet. Makes him a little bit better. And that's it for that one. Let's move on to the next part. All right, so I decided to jump right into a battle, guys, because I don't have coins right now to work on his forge, because normally I would work on the forge. But check it out. I decided to go with uh, pretty much everybody that gets a bonus from Kong's Awakening ability. And then I added Angela in there for the event, you know, getting wins at the event right now. So, yeah, she's in there for a little bit of support. And I've got the rest of these guys. Now, most of these guys, like I said, they're not really maxed out at all. They're not even awakened. So just Kong is the only one. Aldred is looking pretty good, though. So let's see what's going to happen with this team. Boy! I think we might actually pull this off. This is an arena battle, guys. It's not in the top, top tier, but it's a little lower rank. But I think it still shows off this. It's looking pretty good here. They're getting a nice little bonus in attack. A really nice bonus. 492 bonus in attack is not bad at all. And they got the win. Wow. Look at that. And it wasn't even a struggle. Kong putting in work. And Octo doing some work there. So, hmm. Yeah. Not bad, guys. Now, my opponent didn't have any pets on him. That makes a big difference, pets. But the only heroes that had pets here that were kind of worked on is Aldred and Angela. The other the other heroes didn't even have a the pet. is not even worked on. It's just there, but nothing's there. So, hmm. I'm liking that. This team could have a little potential, guys. If somehow we can get a nice awakened Taurith. Let's go good, and uh, I just realized right now that Octo is also awakened too. <laughs> I forgot that I awakened Octo and Aldred is awakened too, so... Pretty much all those guys are awakened except for Taurith. She's the only one that's not awakened, but... This worked out pretty well. Alright, so the last one worked out pretty well, so I decided to try this out again, guys. Versus a little bit better team, they got some... You know, pets on them now. Let's see if it could work out... You know, kind of the same. We got Sylphie, we got Gorum, uh, Kanyak is there. So we got some... Krona too, so let's see if this they can hold their own here. Oh, there goes Krona. All right, Angela about to use her ultimate right now. This is going to put a stop to all her ultimates for a little bit here. Mine too. Oh no, Octo, boom, yes. Now, Octo is using his ultimate, guys, because when Angela uses her ultimate, her and another hero that's under her third ability, I'm pretty sure, uh, does not get, you know what I mean, um, get caught up in a rainbow ability, so they can actually use their ultimate, so... That's why he used his ultimate. But normally, if Angela uses her ultimate, you cannot use your ultimate if they are under the rainbow ability, right? Anyways, guys, let's check it out. So that's another victory here and pretty much almost the same results here. Kong is putting in work. Damn, he's using... That's a lot of damage from Kong. Octo's doing some good damage. And I would say that this is fairly pretty even, guys. Orange plus two heroes, uh, some pets on them. Does Angela sway the battle that much? It could be, potentially, but yeah. I'm impressed by Kong and by the other heroes here as well, so that's the battles. Alright guys, so overall in conclusion, I think this Kong is very, very usable. Not bad at all. I am actually impressed by the battles that I did. I did a couple of battles, not just those two. I did a few more just to test it out, and I was impressed. Uh, he does some good damage. Obviously, all his clones, you know, do good, but I'm liking it. I'm liking this damage, guys. I'm liking this uh, Spirit Club badge. Yeah. Yeah. This is physical attack bonus. This is really good. And it's actually pretty high. Physical attack bonus. Right now, it looks like it's at 492, which is good. You know, that's really, really good. So, way to go, Kong. Oh, wait a minute here. Let's try to switch this up if I take the skin out here. All right, so that's what he looks like without his skin. Yeah, the skin is pretty good, guys, because... Let me see. Oh, it doesn't... Actually, he doesn't get an ability from having his skin on. Some heroes get an ability, so he his ability still remain the same if he's got a skin on or not. But I like it with the skin more. Yeah, I like it a lot better with the skin. But 
So that's it for Kong, guys. I'm impressed. I love this uh, Awakened ability. I wish there was a lot, a few other heroes that, you know, would benefit from this. But using him in a team with Octo seems to be going pretty well. And Aldred too, because Aldred is going to soak up a lot of the, you know, a lot of the damage. And he will, you know what I mean, stop a lot of the heroes from dying. So that helps out a lot. But I did like the outcome of these battles. And I can't wait, you know, to see if they release some more heroes with some spears that are more useful. That can actually do some good damage. Because eventually, if they, right now there's only six heroes using this badge. I can see down the line, you know, when there's maybe 10 or 15 other heroes that are using spears. Uh, you can definitely run a nice Kong team in the raids, guys. I mean, just think about it. You have uh, Leia, Bloodspear, Kong. Uh, these three heroes right there are going to do a lot of damage. Even Octo does a good amount of damage to uh, AoE damage heroes, meaning a lot of heroes at once. So you can definitely run a good team. And I can definitely see a team, a Kong team, being really, really good for raids, guys. But I'm talking really down the line right now, you know, ahead of time. But for now, it's okay. A lot of potential to come uh if you are, have a choice between kong or some other heroes uh it's a toss-up you know it's really a toss-up depending on if you're using some of these heroes in your uh team but for now i love you know i love that they put this in the game and i can't wait to see what's next guys so that'll be it for today i will end this off here and i will catch you guys on the next soul hunters awakening video guys peace out